Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Hope you're having a good day. Hope things are treating you well. Uh, I'm going to do another reaction video to a spooky video. This one is to Slapped Ham's scary moments that'll creep you out. Hopefully it's a good one. Some good ghosty stuff and things like that. If you wouldn't mind popping by Slapped Ham's channel, the link is in the description. And drop them a sub. Sub to my channel if you haven't already done so. Hit the thumbs up and leave a comment. Any feedback is appreciated or even just an emote just to try and generate some engagement would be very much appreciated. Right, let's get the cans on and give it a watch. Huh? Hopefully it's a good one. How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. You're about to see some of the most mysterious video clips that are trending on socials right now. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more mysterious content just like this. In an intriguing post on Reddit, user Just Koiru shared a photo from their school's security camera, capturing a mysterious incident that occurred seven years ago. The image seen here shows a ghostly looking figure in the senior locker area of the poster's school. The original footage, now unfortunately lost, apparently depicted the figure moving through the picnic table before vanishing into the wall of the classroom. The poster, who has since taken a keen interest in the paranormal, emphasised the low likelihood of tampering due to the footage's origin from a secure source from within the school. The figure in the photo, which they believe resembled a slowly walking old woman, appeared at 2.45am in a locked and guarded room, making a student prank an unlikely explanation. The poster also noted that the figure might resemble the hanging cloth in the background, but remained puzzled by its ability to phase through solid objects. While the search for the original video continues among old classmates, this post has stirred interest and curiosity. The poster promises to update the thread if the original footage is ever found again leaving followers and paranormal enthusiasts eagerly anticipating more evidence of this uncanny occurrence in their old high school. It would be interesting to see the actual movement footage of that, um, see exactly what it is, because it is quite intriguing, that one. What do you guys think? The bonds we share with our pets transcend the mere concept of ownership. They're profound, deeply emotional connections that touch the very core of our beings. In this touching and mysterious post on Reddit, user FA5Cuz shares an unusual experience following the loss of their beloved cat Pickle about a month ago. The story revolves around an older iPhone that the poster recently purchased off eBay. After setting it up with their Apple ID and taking a few pictures, something extraordinary happened. When they later checked the camera roll among the new photos was an unexpected video. A clip of Pickle the Cat turning around and meowing directly at the camera. The perplexing part is that all the other images in the camera roll were taken that very day, making the appearance of this one particular video both baffling and intriguing. Strange. The poster speculated that it might be a case of their Apple ID syncing previous cloud stored images to the new device, but they couldn't fathom why only this specific video of Pickle appeared. For the poster and their fiance still grieving their loss, this mysterious video brought a sense of closeness to Pickle. It seemed almost as if their cherished cat was reaching out from beyond, offering a comforting hello. When a viewer noted that the video seemed to be Pickle's way of reaching out and letting the poster know they were okay, the poster responded, informing them of a previous incident involving a former pet. When they were about eight years old, their cat Fluffy passed away. One day soon after, they were at their grandma's house. She asked the poster if they wanted a sign from Fluffy, and naturally they said yes. They both closed their eyes and heard a very distinct meow sound coming from the bathroom despite there being no cats in the house at all. Weird. So how does one explain this, along with the strange video that suddenly appeared on the poster's phone? Are the events supernatural, or is there another way to explain them? Let me know where you land on this curious tale in the comments down below. Obviously I'm not going to get to see the video. 
Um, not that it matters, it's more the story behind it. But yeah, it's a bit weird that. Um, it may just, as he said, be some sort of sinking issue. Um, sort of mixing in the dates or whatever, I don't know. But it is a bit of strange. It will be comforting in some ways, I guess. I just know what you guys think. I don't mind stories like that. They are quite heartwarming, shall we say. Next, we delve into a perplexing mystery shared by Reddit user Lyserin. Captured in a photograph is a round mirror mounted high up on a wall, which appears to have a set of footprints on its surface. The Redditor explains that the incident occurred about three days prior to their post. After a steamy shower, they notice these unexplained footprints in the mirror. Living in the house with two other individuals, the Redditor is puzzled by the presence of these prints given the mirror's elevated position. The strangeness of this occurrence has left the poster with little sleep since the incident. Could this be a trick of the line, perhaps residue from a previous touch that only became visible due to the steam? Even if this were the case, how did the footprints actually get there in the first place? Maybe there's a more unconventional explanation, like a paranormal presence. Share your theories the on this feet, one it? in the comments down below. Yeah, it's just like the balls of the feet, isn't it? There's no actual rest of the foot as such. It could just be a paradoxy. What do you guys think? Shaker's Bar in Milwaukee, a location steeped in history and mystery, is renowned for its ghostly residence and chilling tales. Originally constructed in 1894, this establishment was once associated with the notorious gangster Al Capone, and has since become a hotspot for paranormal enthusiasts and ghost tour visitors. The bar's haunting legacy is rooted in its past, which includes a time as a speakeasy and brothel during the Prohibition era. Over the years, both staff and patrons have reported numerous unexplained occurrences, from ghostly apparitions to eerie sounds and cold spots. These experiences are believed to be linked to the spirits of those who frequented or worked at the bar in its tumultuous past. One of the most prominent spirits said to haunt Shaker's Bar is that of a woman believed to be one of the brothel's workers from the 1920s. Visitors often report seeing her ghostly figure or feeling her presence in the building. Another spectral inhabitant is thought to be the ghost of a young girl who tragically died on the premises. This recent post on Reddit by user Bad Health adds to the bar's already eerie reputation. During a ghost tour, the user snapped a photo of what appeared to be a decaying figure in a suit near the original Al Capone bar area. The figure, almost transparent and oddly proportioned, wasn't visible to the naked eye, and was only discovered upon reviewing the photos. Weird. The staff, shown the images later, were reportedly unnerved by the spectral figure captured in this photograph. Shaker's Bar's rich and tumultuous history, combined with these ghostly encounters, continues to fascinate and terrify visitors. The spectral sightings and eerie atmosphere make Shaker's Bar not just a historical landmark, but a portal to the past, where the spirits of its colourful history seem to linger, forever etched into its walls. That is creepy, how does that mind? It looks a pretty cool place, to be honest. I do like the look of that. There's somewhere to go, but um, yeah, that's a bit strange. It doesn't seem to have a lower part of the face, so or it's got a shroud on or something. It's weird, isn't it? What do you guys think? The Driscoll Hotel in Austin, Texas, a landmark steeped in history, is notorious for its spectral guests and haunting ambience. Originally opened in 1886 by cattle baron Jesse Driscoll, this luxury hotel has been a centerpiece of Austin's social scene for over a century. Its opulent design and storied past make it a magnet for ghost stories and paranormal enthusiasts. Many visitors and employees of the Driscoll have reported eerie occurrences that hint at its haunted reputation. One of the most famous ghost stories involves the spirit of a little girl who tragically died falling down the grand staircase. 
Guests often report hearing the sound of a bouncing ball, believed to be the ghost of this young girl playing in the corridors. Another ghost frequently mentioned is that of a bride who took her own life in one of the hotel rooms. It's said that her presence lingers, casting a melancholic aura in certain areas of the hotel. Guests have also reported seeing apparitions in mirrors, feeling sudden cold spots, and experiencing unexplained noises throughout the night. A Reddit user, ShadyNasty666, shared a spine-tingling experience from their 2012 visit to the Driscoll. While sitting in the lobby with their aunt, they noticed a figure moving out the corner of their eye. When they looked directly, nothing was there. Prompted by their aunt, they took a photograph of the seemingly empty staircase. The captured image, however, revealed a ghostly figure staring directly at the camera. Another Reddit user pointed out an additional figure in the lower left corner of the image, further intensifying the chilling narrative of the Driscoll's ghostly inhabitants. These spectral sightings and stories contribute to the hotel's allure, drawing both thrill-seekers and the curious eager to experience a brush with the otherworldly within the historic walls of the Driscoll Hotel. Again, it could just be pareidolia, but it's... There seems to be an arm here. I mean, this could be an anomaly on the wall and shadows and stuff, but it does seem to have an arm here. This one, again, it seems a bit more compelling, to be honest, than that one. But um, it could just be pareidolia with the tree and the shadows and stuff. I don't know. There is no what you think in the comments. In a recent submission to the Facebook page Ghosts of London, Jolene Hall shared some intriguing photographs from her hen's party in Edinburgh. During the celebration, her group embarked on a ghost walk, a popular activity that delves into the city's haunted history, eventually leading them to the infamous Edinburgh vaults. These underground chambers, steeped in history and eerie tales, have long captivated both locals and tourists alike. The guide narrated the chilling past of the vaults as one of the group members took some photographs. Among their group, an American couple caught their attention. The woman wearing a cap and the man positioned slightly behind her. However, it was only after reviewing the photos that the group noticed something truly unsettling. The man's face appears to undergo a bizarre transformation. This peculiar change wasn't limited to the photos either. The group recalled that the man, initially sociable and engaged, became unusually quiet after leaving the vaults. His sudden change in demeanour was so noticeable that when a friend inquired about his well-being, his response was a mere grunt. The Edinburgh vaults, with their dark and tumultuous history, are known to be a hotbed for paranormal activity, making them a prime location for ghost walks. These photos from Jolene Hall's visit add another layer to the mystery and intrigue surrounding these underground chambers. They remain a haunting reminder of the vault's reputation and the potential for unexplained phenomena within their ancient walls. It could just be a trick of the light, but it, it does look weird. Like it looks like in Vincent out of the Beauty and the Beast series years ago. Can you hear that noise? In recent years, a curious phenomenon has been reported around the world. Strange, trumpet-like sounds emanating from the sky, often described as a haunting or otherworldly noise. Are you sure, Dad? Mm. Sounds like a trumpet, Dad. What is that? That's weird. These sounds have captured the public's imagination and sparked a range of theories about their origins. From scientific explanations like atmospheric pressure or industrial noises, to more supernatural interpretations.
it would be horrifying to hear something like that. But it, I, I think there was a lot of explanations towards like factories and stuff. But um, there's some seem to be sort of well aware. I mean, this could be well aware from any industrial zones or anything like that. For some, these mysterious sounds have drawn parallels to the seven trumpets of Revelation, stirring speculation and concern among those who view these events through a religious or apocalyptic lens. According to the text, these trumpets are sounded by seven angels, and each trumpet blast brings about a new and catastrophic event on Earth, often interpreted as divine judgment. The events range from environmental disasters to warfare and celestial disturbances, each with symbolic and metaphorical interpretations within Christian eschatology. Sounds like a trumpet though. This next video, seen here uploaded to TikTok by user The Paranormal Chick, was captured at Bonnie Doon in Victoria, Australia. In it, we hear yet another mysterious noise that seems to emanate from the clouds. We're up at Bonnie Doon. Weird, can't say anything, but I can certainly hear that. The eerie nature of the sounds and their seemingly inexplicable source can easily evoke the mystique and foreboding of the biblical trumpets, especially for those inclined to view current events through a prophetic context. However, it is important to note that most of these occurrences have been explained through natural or man-made phenomena. Atmospheric scientists, for instance, often attribute such sounds to natural causes, like geomagnetic activity, pressure variations, or even echoes from distant thunderstorms or industrial equipment. Despite these explanations, the eerie resemblance to the trumpets of Revelation continues to intrigue and unsettle those who hear them adding a modern twist to an ancient prophecy. What is that? Hmm. Yeah guys, some intriguing things in there actually, I enjoyed that. Let us know what you think, any feedback is appreciated. There's some good stills in the last video apparently, well, Obviously, there is sort of explanations out there uh, with regards to atmospheric pressure and industry and stuff like that. It would still be creepy to hear that, though. Let us know if you've witnessed anything like that. And again, thanks for watching. Do appreciate it. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.